Thank you. And welcome to my closing remarks. So teaching, it has a lot to do with time. We have a certain number of hours, a certain number of days, a certain number of weeks and months and years that we're gonna spend with our students and we try to make the most of every minute. Sometimes we do better than others at that depending on how much energy we're able to bring to our teaching on that particular day or week or month or hour or minute or second. But it's mostly made up of time. And so I have spent the last three years in this classroom attempting to the best of my ability to maximize the amount of interactions with French and Spanish that my students would be able to have. Um, it's also apparently made up of a lot of stuff. Um, I just looked back here and I realized I have so much stuff that I'm packing up to move across town to my new job at Madison High School. But there were some things that I just thought I couldn't leave the year without memorializing. One is my beard dye. Um, fourth period, we went to pick up what we thought were kind bars one day, but it turned out it was actually beard dye instead. And this beard dye um, brought us together as a class and we have gotten a good laugh out of it ever since. Um, so here's to fourth period with your wonderful beard dye which just proves that friends really are the chocolate chips and the cookies of life. Um, many a kind bar has been eaten in this classroom by me and various students this year. I've been so busy that I kind of gave up on cooking anything at all. So I've been living off of meat sticks and kind bars, which I keep over there in my closet. Uh, speaking of meat sticks, um, we've ate, eaten a lot of meat sticks too this year. Um, third period and fourth period have both chowed down on a lot of meat sticks. And third period, I hate to tell you, but fourth period's been chowing down on your meat sticks quite a bit. Um, we've had some fun characters, and honestly, it was really cute when I saw two of our characters um, in a pet store, and I found um, the avocado. Now this avocado had two parts, Ava and Kato, and Ava played Ava because Ava and Ava are spelled the same. And then of course there was the mysterious uh, pit that was stolen by Bill Gates. And of course then there's BB-8, or as they will forever be known in French, Bebe Wheat. Um, I don't know why that cracked me in particular up so much one day, but it did. So, as I put on this sombrero, I would like to tell you students from my three years here at West Sylvan Middle School, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a great three years. I have grown a lot as a teacher being here at West Sylvan, and it's changed me forever. And not only has it changed me, but it's taught me things that I have taught to a lot of other teachers. And this school has been kind of like um, a lab site for me. I've come to a lot of realizations right here in room 23. And it's been life changing, literally life changing for me, the time that I have spent here. The last three years of my life have been a really exciting time for me. And in no small part because I had my dream job. Um, when I first met the woman who had this job before me, this thing is giving me allergies, it's pretty uh, dusty. When I met the woman who had the job here before me at West Sylvan, I was a student teacher down at Lincoln High School, and we had a, a, a cluster job-like meeting where all the teachers who taught languages came together. And I remember her telling me that she taught, or not just me, the whole group, that she taught French and Spanish at West Sylvan Middle School, and I thought, whoa, I love middle school, I love French, maybe one day I can learn Spanish, and I really want her job. That was 15 years ago, in 2003, when I was student teaching down at Lincoln. And I got her job. She retired, I applied for the job. Um, I don't know how many other people applied for it, I don't think very many. Um, 
I don't think there's that many people who have French and Spanish and middle school. So I got that job after 12 years and I've had it for three years and they've been some very happy years indeed. It's gonna be hard on Friday when I have to say goodbye to my students, especially my French students that I, I thought I would be teaching again next year. Um, but kids, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm gonna be teaching half time. Uh, I'm gonna be able to relax more and not be as stressed out as I have been this year. It's been a hard year in a lot of ways. It's been great, it's been amazing. I've done a lot of amazing work. Uh, things have come to me that I never thought would ever come to me in my life. Um, so much work, uh, so much responsibility, uh, so many demands on my time, and so many ideas. So many ideas, kids. I have so many ideas. So many things that I want to make to help teachers and help kids because, like I've told you before, if I go make a presentation and even one teacher puts down the textbook or puts down the worksheets for even half a period, for even 10 minutes, I feel like I've accomplished my goal. So I have to go. Um, I'm going to be working at a job where I only have to work every other day because it's a high school. And then every other day I'll be able to actually sit down and catch my breath and relax and get my brain back in gear to be able to do more of this work that makes me so happy to share this way of teaching with so many teachers. So kids, for my last three years here at West Sylvan, I just want to say thank you for helping me experiment. Um, thank you for especially that first year that I was here and we started out with um, the stories where Suresh sort of in halfway through the year when we switched over to the new way of telling stories where we were making artwork and like making up our own characters and Suresh goes, yeah, it used to be, you know, so much less interesting and I realized that we were really on to something. Um, and then over the last three years we've been, we've tinkered a lot. My French 2 class, you guys have put up with a lot for me with uh, all these units on geography and school and clothes and food and all this stuff where I was just trying all these new ideas all the time and throwing new stuff at you constantly. So I appreciate you. I love you all. I will miss you. I will be at Madison High School next year, 2018 to 2019. Who knows what the future holds after that, but I would love to hear from you. You can write me anytime. You can come by Madison and I hope that you have a really great school year next year. I will miss you and maybe I can come visit and bring you some meat sticks. Who knows? Thank you.